The PDA project has evolved into a litmus test of Russia's technological might and industrial resilience, especially as this country strives to shake off its dependence on foreign suppliers amid tightening sanctions. Yet, the PDA's journey is mired in formidable troubles, underscoring the complexity of building advanced jet engines domestically on their own. What are the huge troubles standing in Russia's way? Can the nation overcome these barriers and emerge victorious in pursuing aerospace independence? Let's dive in. Russia has announced the PD-8 engine to equip the Sukhoi Superjet SSJ-100 and the Bar B-200 after identifying issues with the Somme 146 engine produced by Powerjet, a joint venture between France's SNMA, Safran, and Russia's United Engine Corporation, Saturn. SNMA was unable to manufacture the hot section components, resulting in frequent maintenance and other problems with the engine. On February 20th, 22, French company Safran, which owns 50% of the Russia-France Powerjet company, informed its Russian partners at ODK Saturn of the suspension of, of contractual obligations related to supplying parts and components for the Somme 146 engines installed on, on the Sukhoi Superjet 100. In the collaborative project for the Somme 146 engine, the French side was responsible for producing key components such as the gas generator and gearbox, as well as providing the electronic digital control system and integrating the engine into the aircraft systems, while the Russian side, represented by ADK Saturn, was responsible for producing other components, final assembly, ground testing, repair services, and after-sales maintenance. In the context of Western sanctions and the suspension of cooperation with the Russia-France company Powerjet and the French company Safran Aircraft Engines regarding the Somme 146 engine accelerating the work on the PERM PD-8 engine has now become a higher priority than developing a high-powered domestic aircraft engine like the PD-35. Currently, the PD-8 engine is anticipated for at least three types of aircraft. The regional narrow-body passenger aircraft SSG New the multi-purpose aircraft Phoebe B-200, and the heavy multi-role helicopter Mi-26. According to the United Aircraft Corporation, the first set of this engines, two engines, will be sent this winter to komsomolsk on Amur for installation under the wings of the first superjet from the new import substituted series. By the end of 2024, approximately 20 aircraft in this series with domestically produced engines are expected to be delivered to customers. So what kind of engine is the PD-8? Stay tuned to find out. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Your support fuels our passion for bringing you the best in aviation, thanks a million. This engine, initially referred to as PD-7, successfully completed its technical design phase in 2021, followed by the working design documentation in 2022. Plans were set for the technological preparation needed to produce the thrust prototype engines, CPP, in 2023. However, the production of these CPP prototypes has been postponed to 2024, with type certification for the new engine also expected to be achieved within that year. Approximately half of the allocated funds from the total of 120 billion rubles, which is approximately about 1,632 million USD at average exchange rates for the creation of the new Sukhoi Superjet, will be directed toward the development of the engine. The PD-8 engine did not emerge for no reason. Its development is closely tied to the PD-14 engine used in the MC-21 aircraft, which benefited from the determined efforts of engineers in PERM, who initially funded the project themselves. Essentially, the PD-8 is being developed from existing technologies, incorporating elements from both the Somme 146 and PD-14 engines. Inozemsev noted that only the hot section has been refined for the PD-8, while most other components are already in mass production. As a result, a mass-produced gas generator from the PD-14 has been power-adjusted, and the cold section has been paired with the Somme 146's production engine. It is worth mentioning that, based on bench test results, the Russian equivalent has demonstrated superior performance. Specific fuel consumption has decreased, while thrust and engine lifespan for the PD-8 has improved due to the refinements made. This engine can fit into the engine bays of existing superjets without requiring modifications, making it ideal for modernizing the current Superjet 100 fleet. However, Manturov indicated that there are currently no plans to replace the engines on previously manufactured aircraft with the Russian PD-8, as this would entail significant additional costs for airlines or, or operators. In 2023, the inaugural test flight of the Superjet 100 prototype 
Tail number 951570, equipped with the PD-8 engine and foreign onboard equipment, did not take place. Currently, the aircraft is undergoing ground testing. Subsequently, the prototype of the SJ-100, also known as the new SSJ, the replacement for SSJ-100, will require flight and testing procedures. The SJ-100 is a variant of the Superjet developed in 2018, officially designated as the new RRJ-95-100. This aircraft is engineered to utilize the PD-8 engine while maximizing the use of domestically produced components and systems in Russia. In total, 38 systems and components have been replaced in the updated version of the SSJ-100. The aircraft has transitioned to utilizing domestic production systems for air conditioning, braking, power supply, water supply, waste management, crew oxygen systems, air leak sensors, ice and temperature warning systems, landing gear, passenger seats, and various other components. However, a complete replacement of imported parts has not yet been achieved. Currently, there is a lull in flight testing for the PD-8 engine prototype, which is installed on the IL-76LL. What do you think are the challenges and benefits Russia will face when replacing all imported components on the Superjet 100 with domestically produced systems? Testing of the Russian engine as part of an aircraft program is scheduled for 2024, as stated by Yuri Sluzar, CEO of the Russian Aviation Corporation, in a recent media announcement. The comprehensive flight testing program may require over 200 flights to complete. On December 2013, the United Engine Corporation announced that additional work was necessary during the engine testing process. By the end of February 20, 24, Denis Menturov, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Industry and Trade of the Russian Federationists, publicly acknowledged significant challenges in the development of the PD-8 engine. He highlighted the difficulties associated with PD-8 engine testing as one of the most pressing issues. On March 1st, a startling announcement from Rostec State Corporation revealed that the delivery of the SJ-100 aircraft, the new SSJ, to airlines would be postponed until at least 2026. To address some of these challenges, experts from Enomas, a unit responsible for manufacturing rocket engines for Russian space missions, have been brought in to assist in creating the combustion chamber of the new engine. However, while progress is being made with the PD-14, the situation with the engine remains fraught with obstacles. Following flight tests, the engine did not meet the expected project specifications and has been sent back for modifications. Once these adjustments are made, a new flight testing phase will likely be required, extending the timeline by at least another year and a half. This engine may face similar issues as the SOM 146, and it remains uncertain whether it performs better or worse than its predecessor. Russia is attempting to develop a modern 5-plus generation jet to turbine engine in a relatively short time frame, a task that is immensely complex and can be regarded as one of the most challenging mass-produced technical products ever utilized. Delays in such projects are quite common, seen both in Western contexts and, even more so, in China. As a result, the return of Russian aircraft to the skies is experiencing significant delays. In addition to the challenges with testing the PD-8 engine, Russia faces difficulties regarding the supply of high-quality materials essential for producing durable and efficient engine components. Developing an advanced jet turbine engine requires precise machining technology that Russia still depends on imports, which adds significant pressure due to international sanctions. Moreover, Russia must ensure adequate financial resources to sustain project momentum amid competing demands for budget allocation across various sectors. The urgency to operate domestic aircraft quickly intensifies the timeline for completing the PD-8, making the situation even more complex and challenging. The PD-8 and PD-14 engines represent two key developments for Russia designed to lessen reliance on foreign technology, with each engine targeting different segments within the aviation industry. The PD-8, producing around 8 tons of thrust, is intended for smaller aircraft and regional jets like the Sukhoi Superjet 100, serving as a replacement for foreign engines such as the SOM 146. In contrast, the PD-14 delivers greater thrust, approximately 18 tons, and is tailored for mid-range aircraft like the Urquit MC-21-300, allowing this model to compete directly with rivals such as the Airbus A320neo and Boeing 737 MAX. 
From a technological perspective, the PD-14 stands out due to its advanced materials and design, achieving superior fuel efficiency and lower emissions. Comparable to leading engines like the CFM Leap 1A and Pratt and Whitney PW-1100G. Conversely, the PD-8 is based on the technology of the PD-14, but scaled down for regional aircraft. Although it features improvements in fuel consumption, it has yet to reach the efficiency levels of advanced Western engines. Thus, both the PD-8 and PD-14 represent significant advancements in Russia's pursuit of domestic engine technology development, with the PD-14 focusing on long-haul routes and higher performance, while the PD-8 is aimed at the regional segment with lower thrust requirements. Should Russia continue to invest heavily in developing domestic engines like the PD-8, or should it instead seek international cooperation to improve its engine technology and performance? Will Russia succeed in equipping its regional aircraft with PD-8? Leave a comment below with your thoughts. Thanks for watching and safe flights.